I worked my Jacob's Ladder to 77 rows. And now it's time to climb Jacob's Ladder and turn those, these loops, see these loops, into this. And an alternative the difference this. between these two is this is chained the whole way up. This one here is you pull the chain through the back and through the front, which makes it reversible. It doesn't show as well as the braid just going up the front. So that's a design choice whether you want to do it this way or do it this way. So I'm going to start out with showing you the regular way and that's doing it up. Now I've seen other patterns where the first row you'll start from the bottom and go to the top and the next row you go to the top and go to the bottom. So these V's go in opposite directions. So that's another option. So let's get started. What I do for this regular way makes it a lot easier is you fold your piece with the chain loops sticking up like this. And you want to work from the right side of your work. And you want to make sure all of them are up, that none of these are tucked in. Because I made an afghan one time and had it all made and discovered there was a little loop hanging out the back. So you want to make sure all of these loops are folded like this. So you fold it with all the loops sticking up. And then you take, I got a, and I think it's a P crochet hook. It's a, just a, just get a big crochet hook. And you take your first loop, you go in from the top like this and turn it so that it's twisted. See that? You want this first loop to be twisted. And then you just catch the next loop and draw it through. Now of course if you don't have a big crochet hook you can just use your fingers and do the next loop through and bring it from behind and pull it through. It's just using the crochet hook is a lot faster. So that's how I like doing it. And you go all the way to the top just pulling the next loop through just like so until you get to the top and then when you get to the top you have one loop this loop here when you get to the top you're going to have a loop sticking up okay so you don't want this to all pull out so you just take a safety pin or a stitch marker or a little clothes pin or a bobby pin or something and just put it through that loop and then through a stitch that's next to it just to hold it in place temporarily because after we do all our climbing of Jacob's Ladder then we're going to join our top row and we're going to do another a border row across the top and we're going to stitch into these loops to hold them in place. Now to do the other style to, to do this one where it's not quite as defined, but it's reversible, what you do, um, I don't use a crochet hook for that. I'll leave it laying okay. fl flat for this one. I make sure I do that twist in the first loop. Then I pull the first one, the second loop through the first one from behind. But the next one, we're going to take the loop underneath the next one and then we're going to pull it in through from the front. And then the next one comes behind and through. And then the next one we put the new loop in front of the old loop and then poke it through and pull it through to the back. And then the next one we pull it from behind. So you do every other one from the back and from the front. And in knitting this would be knitting and purling. So go in, pulling it from behind, that's like a knit stitch. Popping it down from the top front and pushing it to the back, that's a purl stitch. 
and you work that all the way to the top and you pin it just like we did with the other one. And so I want you to do climb your Jacob's Ladder on your whole afghan and then we'll resume the video and I'll show you how to finish it off.